Hi, this is Dale Roto with Biostat Global Consulting, and in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make inchworm plots using the Stata programs we've written for that purpose. We'll start the video with a little bit of eye candy here. We're going to demonstrate <coughs> and provide to you the files so that you can make uh, this figure, the, uh, the next three figures. So here's some data from the, the hypothetical country of Harmonia that we've been talking about throughout the Survey Scholar course. So we'll provide the data sets and the demo files for you to be able to recreate this figure on your computer. That was uh, made up data from Harmonia. This is real data from the 2016-2017 uh, Nigeria Nix Mix. This is the data set that the analysts have been working with for their creator project. So here's crude measles coverage. We'll provide the demo files for you to make this figure. And then this figure is tall. It looks okay tall, but we're also going to make it uh, a wide version of this figure. This is the same data. We've changed the aspect ratio, and as you can see, we've added a text note and an arrow in the middle of the plot, pointing out that in Borno, some of the clusters were inaccessible, so coverage may be biased. So we'll provide you also with the demo files to make this figure. Inchworm plots are a little bit complicated. They require you to download several Stata commands and programs that work together. So we'll provide these in the Survey Scholar update that has the link to this video. And you'll need to download these and install them in your Stata personal folder. Now you, you've done this several times now. You've downloaded a cert list and put that in your Stata personal folder. You've probably downloaded the organ pipe plot program and put that there. You'll need to put these in the same place um, in your in your Stata personal folder or in some other folder that's in your Stata program path. So you'll need to download all of these programs. We'll provide you with the links. And then there are three Excel files that give us the demo uh, give us the information to make those demo plots. So you'll need to download these as well. The one example from Harmonia and the two examples from Nigeria. Well, conceptually, how, how do we make an inchworm plot? You know, the plots are controlled by five, up to five stated data sets. You always need a data set that describes the distribution info. So you have in your mind before you make the plot, you know what are the strata, you know how many plots you're going to, um, how many distributions you're going to put in the plot. You need to make a data set that has one row per inchworm and describe some information about that inchworm. That is required. And then optionally, you can um, annotate or augment the plots. You can put vertical lines on the plot. You can put horizontal lines on the plot. You can add text and you can add arrows. And each of those is, would be an, an additional optional data set. Uh, and we, the help files describe the elements of that data set and the demo files demonstrate them as well. So you need that information and then there are some command line options. You might want to add a title to your plot, you might want to change the height to width ratio, etc. So in the, the big picture is that we're going to make some stated data sets, at least one and up to five, with the information in it to go on the plot. And then you call the program, the program that makes these plots for survey proportions is called IWplot SVYP. This makes inchworm plots for survey proportions. In Vicky, Vicky calls this program on the fly. Vicky makes, Vicky sets up those data sets um, and it, it knows how to do it on the fly. Uh, but what's going to be more common for you at first probably is to do a post hoc job to make one plot at a time. You're going to handcraft these figures you're going to maybe have a report or you're going to have a data set and you're going to lay out the information for each um, shape, each inchworm, one by one in the, in the file of the data set. So that's what we're going to demonstrate today. In the first example, in the Harmonia example, we know, let's say we know from an old report or something, we know estimated coverage and effective sample size for each stratum. And so we're going to plot those those things. We provide those in Excel. And for each inchworm, we also provide some other information. Well, which row do we want it to appear on? Row number one is the bottom row, and, th and then we count upward. What's, um, what color do we want the outline of the shape to be? What color do we want the fill of the shape to be? Do we want to clip those inchworms so that the base of each shape 
corresponds exactly to the two-sided 95% confidence interval. We, that's what we usually do. That's the recommendation, although it's optional. Do we want to show the tick marks for the one-sided confidence bounds? What should we name the row? What text should go on the right? Things like that. So this is the example where you know the estimated coverage and you know the effective sample size. Now remember, effective sample size, I don't think we've talked about this much in this course, but that's not actual sample size. That's actual sample size divided by design effect is the effective sample size. In other situations, you might not have estimated the coverage yet, but you have the data set sitting around. You have the 0, 1 outcome variable there. And so what you provide instead then is the data set name, the variable name, and then some survey set syntax and some if syntax. So we'll show you that and everything else is the same. You put that information in an Excel spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has very carefully defined worksheet names and column names. You save that spreadsheet and then you call this program Excel Wrapper for IW Plot Survey P. So we're going to demonstrate that now in the, the next video. We'll, we'll cut this video off at this, at this point and then in the next video we'll demonstrate making uh, each of these three figures. So join us back in just a moment for that. Thanks.